Hey, so Ari wanted to learn how to make this, so hopefully I will try and get that going pretty fast. I'm just going to create a new document, similar to size to the one there. And um, I think I'm going to start by creating some vector shapes. So going over to the pen tool, I'm just going to do some fairly free form curves sort of mimic the nice patterns they have on their one. And I'm just gonna draw it off to off the edges because right now it doesn't matter too much. So sort of putting that to a side as it were, I've just got a shape here. See I'm gonna just fill it as a placeholder colour. So we can see it so we know it's there. Hold with me, getting a bit of lag. So I think this is just the screen capture software causing a bit of lag here. But yeah, always do with more RAM. Okay, so there's my vector shape. I'm just going to break out into a new layer, save that one for later, and just using the brush tool, sort of pick some nice colours. So they use some quite pastel -y shades, so I'm just going to go for a sort of pastel -y pink and just brush that out. And then switch to some other pastel shade. Now this is going to lack a lot of the subtleties of what you're doing, but as I said, if you're just doing it fast, you can tweak yours and get something a lot more finessed. Okay, I'm going to go back to my uh, to that reference image just to see. Okay, I've got some magentas in there. Okay, so I'm not too far off it really. I dropped some deeper hues in. I don't want to copy it exactly anyway. Um, okay, so with that created, I've got this vector shape behind. I'm going to press Command Alt G, and that makes a, a clipping mask. Or if I undo that, I go to Layer. I think there's a way to make the clipping mask. Layer mask. That is not it. Clipping mask. Create clipping mask. So now, obviously, as you can see, it creates this little arrow here. It means that everything's clipped within that shape. I'm going to duplicate that layer just pressing Command J, and then we've got that layer behind it now. So now I can sort of, oh, sorry, on top of it, I'm going to place that behind the masked layer. Then I can sort of move it around a bit and get subtle variations like that. I'm just going to stretch that so it fills the canvas again. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, in your one, there's a highlight underneath this shape. So, I mean, you could you could potentially make that using a sort of outer glow or something. This is set to rainbow, which is quite interesting. So, just for the sake of this, I'm just going to use the outer glow setting on this. Um, I'm going to go to layer, layer style, create layer. Now this breaks the layer style out into its own layer. So there, it's, it's made shape one's outer glow. And I'm going to just use a layer mask, so going over to this little clippy icon here, creates, oh, on the wrong layer, undo that. So the shape one's out glow selected, just go over to this little icon down the bottom here, click on that, and it creates this layer mask. And now I can paint bits of this out using the black and white brush. I think 
this is handy because you might want to paint some bits back in. Um, for the sake of originality, I'm going to put the highlight over on the other side from there. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be too much of a straight copy. And I'm just going to paint some in using just a just a brush. So it'd be nicer with a whack on right now. I've just got a mouse plugged in here. Um, And then obviously you can sort of smooth that or whatever you might want to do. Delete it, smooth it. I'm just being lazy here. Just whacking it. Okay. So I've got a rather odd brush set on my um, eraser there. Textured brush. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay, so I'm going to create another vector shape to act as our mask. Um, there's all sorts of options here. Obviously, you could just use square shapes and blah, blah, blah. There's the freeform pen tool, curvature pen tool. I'm just going to try out the curvature pen tool because it's, I'm fairly new to it. It's a bit of a new one on me. So I need a bit of practice with this one. So I'm just holding space, obviously, to change to the hand tool to drag around and toggling the full screen mode, pressing F. You can take it into different modes, but it's nice to have it in this mode so you can drag your shape around. So there we've got another shape. It's caught up in this clipping mask, so I'm just going to use the command square brackets to change the layer and command Alt and G to unmake that clipping mask. So now we've got another mask here. We're going to duplicate this first layer. Command J. Move it up. Well, I could just move it up manually. But I was just going to move it up using Command Square Bracket and then Command Alt G to create another clipping mask there. And now I can just move that around again. I'm just going to um, warp it down a bit. There we go. Just uh, not warp it, so we transform it down a bit. So we've got this subtle line emerging. Now it's not exactly like the original, obviously, um, but I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Yours is really, really nice, and mine could do with some, some work, but you get the idea. I'm just going to boost the saturation just for the sake of it. See where that leaves us. Well, we're getting a little bit of banding and weirdness around here. I quite like it though. <laughs> All right. 